welcome to an exciting new decade of Iskra Racing action. Hello, we are here in Quebec, here in Canada, at the Road Gatineau Circuit for the start of a brand new season of Iskra, and in particular, the start of the 2020 Iskra Junior Series. I am your host, Rocket Knight, and I am here to give you live, flag-to-flag -flag action of every Iskra Junior Series race this season. It's, de it's definitely, like... It's the, it's the start of a new era here in Iskro as the Sunoco Pro Series, as it's now called, has brought in the Generation 2 race car and a lot of and a lot of exciting changes, a lot of new faces, new faces and new places. But of course, that's the top step of the top step of the ladder. Here, like here at the first step, we have a lot of young guns and up and comers looking to make their names in like like in the international world of stock car racing. And we do have some returning faces as well, but there are plenty of brand new drivers taking a crack at Rookie of the Year this time around. We have 25 cars, more like we have more cars racing here than last season, as well as two completely new manufacturers in the form of Nissan and Mercedes. Yes, uh, Nissan does have a program in the higher series, Fallout Racing. Fallout left Honda after last season to join to a join of Nissan, becoming the flagship for that new manufacturer. Uh, Mercedes, on the other hand, is dipping their toes in very, like, 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 they're very gently dipping their toes in. This is the uh, only series where they have a program. So they just kind of started a little manufacturer development program, just kind of getting their feet wet in this grow. And we'll see if, we'll see if they have any full-time teams in the future. But, and, but anyway, without but without further ado, while I get down to the track to show show the grid with where Haley Takoto has the pull, this that, that is the first pull of her career. Uh, she is returning from last season. She had a good start to the season in 2019, but kind of fell off late in the going. She's looking to turn that around and prove her worth in the Honda program. Meanwhile, alongside her is one of those new Nissans, the Fallout developmental team. Uh, this is Alex Gray in the 43 car. He drove for Mako Dynasty last season, but they no longer... Mako Dynasty no longer has a program, so he moved over to Nissan. And he's certainly... Certainly proved his worth on the road courses last season, showed a lot of potential, despite not finishing in the top 10 in points. But he's certainly did some great things. Starting third is Emily Elamond for, for Bavarian Lightning's BMW program. They hired two new rookies. This is one of them. Uh, sh like, she had a... Like good job by Alamund to get to qualify third in her debut. Well, she'll definitely want to keep an eye on. As is this car. This is the defending champion car, the Chevron Developments number four. This year, driven by Hans Fischer, moving over from the 77. F like Fischer definitely has a lot to live up, like live up to, considering what MoMA did last season. But Fischer did finish fourth in points last season. He was. Well, I say a title contender, but l let's be honest, nobody had an answer for Kenny Moma last year. <laughs> so hopefully someone will have an answer. Uh, this is a face. Uh, in the 42 car this season for full frontal next gen is uh, Mitchell Carter. This is a name that we did hear last year. He raced in the finale, replacing the uh, re replacing Will Mickles in that final race, and he almost won on debut. Led 14 laps, finished in the top five. Certainly a lot of potential in this young rookie. Starting 6th is Anthony Moore, returning to, to the Maverick 83, and he did not do very well last season. Similarly to Dakota, he started well and then fell off, and uh, he'll also be looking to redeem himself this season. 7th uh, is Austin Rogers. Very, qui like, very quiet season. Uh, had some good runs here and there, but ultimately wound up 13th in the standings. Like, he'll, like, back in this ride, he'll be looking to improve. Uh, starting in 8th is another rookie, Dale Cole Jr. Impressive showing here in the Chevrolet. Chevrolet Motorsports is this car. They only have the one... They only have the one car, because Chevrolet, uh, doesn't really have a lot of cars in this row this year. So we'll see what Cole can do in this number 3. Brandon Barnes rolls off in P9, third in points from last year. Uh, he is the second highest in points to return. Uh, the, the one higher is Brett Moma, he starts in the back. Uh, so yeah, Barnes generally prides himself as a road ringer, so we'll see what he can do today. And Ryan Reed, one of our rookies for uh, Roush Racing Developments, rounds out your top 10. As you scroll through the rest of the field, got Reese over there, Tristan Faulkner now in the 26, back in his 
back in his home country. And he was Nonagon Scott in the Mercedes. That nice looking car. Dave Whitefield, uh, short tracker, takes over to 77. And here's the Mazda, here's the Mazda speed cars. Uh, <laughs> Like, since Shock Allison is now the uh, Mazda flagship, uh, it changed hands from Stone Ocean to Shock Allison. They called him, and they called him, they called themselves Mazda Speed. Uh, well, actually, it's a longer name that currently escapes me. <laughs> like, I, like, to be honest, like, my, I've just been calling them Mazda Speed because the actual name is way too much of a mouthful. Here we go Mazda Speed powered by Shock Allison and Stone Ocean Steel Ball Run Development. You, you, yeah, I'm not saying that on air multiple times. I'm just calling it the Mazda Speeds. <laughs> anyway, this is Cody Goforth, one of the like, a rookie. There's Axel Pollen in the six, who won a race last season. Jensen Nolan, one of the rookies in the BMW. Carla Viola, the only returning BMW driver. She was the lowest of the full-time drivers last season, but she showed did show a lot of potential, and you'd be looking to live up to that. Another driver who didn't do very well, but is looking to live up to potential is AJ Camp is AJ Canton, replacing the uh, replacing Anderson Reed in this 98 car. Here's Brandon Morris, who qualified a bit far back. Uh, Yoshiko Sakamoto is now driving the 40, moving down from PLS. Colton Treslin moves over to the 41 car. He was fifth in points last season. Here's your second in points, Brett Moma. He did not qualify very well, so these guys work cut out for him. So does another hometown hero, Francois Chastain. And Marcel Page brings up the rear returning to that car. I won't be going through the field like this every week, but this is the first race, so I felt it I felt it necessary to introduce all the drivers. But with that out of the way, I think it's I think it's ready to I think it's about time we go racing here in Canada. Well we're getting ready to go racing here at Road Gatno. Ten laps around this circuit. And if that doesn't sound like much, don't worry. Like this is one of the longest tracks on the calendar. Lap times average about two and a half minutes, so we'll still have plenty of time to get some great racing action in here here today. So we wait now. We wait for the wait for the command to fire the engines. Drivers, start your engines. The engines have fired. We're getting ready to go racing here for the start of the brand new Junior Series season. 2020 season's underway as the green flag drops and we're rocking in Canada. Awful start from Alex Gray. Field thunders down into turn one. Rezzy some aggressive moves here. Alamund already to the inside of Takoto. She's gonna send it. She absolutely is, like rubs fenders of Carter. Takoto runs it a little wide. That may allow Alamund to take the lead, but she's got the outside here in this hairpin. Takoto got the preferred line here. You'll see a lot of passes. You can just dive it in on the inside. Takoto sends it, slides up the racetrack, blocks off the 45. Alamund cuts underneath. Four wide behind! And they make it work, how about that? Now we go down onto the straightaway. This is another major passing spot. So we get as we, we'll be getting on the old old pavement here and a nice big sweeper where you can really throw it in. Alamon manages to make it work. She's got the lead now. And Mitchell Carter is gonna force it down the inside of Takoto. And Takoto denies him three wide for the lead. Then we're ahead in then this is another major section where you really need to get clear before the second part of this chicane. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, very tight. Takoto gets the lead back. I am impressed that we managed to keep it clean. That was intense. N now the battles for second between Alamund and Carter. Got these two, got a couple of big sweepers here. One to the right and next to the left. Then we'll and then we'll head back onto the on another another big straightaway here, the back straight here. And it's another this is another major passing spot. You can get your moves done there. However, you generally need to get done by the time you move into this like into this chicane up here. This is a very fast chicane and difficult to get right. And as you see, Alamon doesn't get it right. Runs it a little wide and now Fisher's right on her tail. Oh, we got a car spinning in the back. Uh, that's Axel Pollen, and it looks and it looks like he's stuck. So that's that is not how you want to start your season. 
a tough break for Pollen there. Takoto comes down. She will lead the first lap of the, of the Junior Series season. Pollen is indeed beached in the sand. Not a good start, like not a good way to start the season. Now, a new rule this season is if a ma if a we actually can have caution flags. If a big wreck happens, we, we can throw a full course yellow. I don't expect that to happen. Ooh, Alamund forces Carter up wide. Fisher takes advantage. They make contact. Rub beating and banging for P2. Fisher jumps on both of them. Is he gonna force this free wide? Come on. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good idea. It looks like Almond might shut the door on him. Uh, well, it's not free wide anymore, but Fisher is gonna try to move. Almond runs it wide, and Carter forces the issue again, and we're free wide again. This is some fantastic action up here. I see free wide back there as well. Oh, you really get this worked out. Fisher commits. Can't make it happen. Looks like the rest of the field's clean. Look at Brett Moma powering off. Like he's one of, he's one of the guys to watch out for in the championship this season. I mean, he's had a and he's had a fantastic. Looks like he's had a good start. But Carter in P2 right now behind Haley Takoto, who currently leads the way. Alamund is third. Hans Fisher fourth. Uh, not for long though. Here comes Austin Rogers to take that spot away. Barnes, he was in a top ten. He just got sent off into the grass. Don't think he's gonna be too happy about that one. Let's watch him here. Got one of the Nissans like, beside him. Uh, that is uh, hometown hero Eric Reese. Got three Canadians in the field here today. Dave, Dale Cole Jr. ran it off into the sand. Something tells me that may have been similar to the Pollen incident, which we will check on here in a minute. It looks a little, looks a little strung out at the front here. I expect that early. I expect that early on, as as we try to sail into a run. Tristan Faulkner, he is flying right now. Good stuff from the 26 at the moment. I was wondering if he had one of the faster laps of the race. He does. Third fastest lap on the board. Dakota and Carter are the two fastest. Fourth fastest lap is Colton Treslin. Ooh, I saw Reese was trying to look there, try to make something happen. Pollen has, Pollen has re-entered the circuit. He's definitely not going to be happy with with this start to the season. De like, that's definitely a huge shame, but Faulkner forces the move. He's already up into the top 10. Barnes is working his way back up after those issues, so he seems to have a good car under him. He'll be one to watch out for, for sure. He's already back up to 9th, I believe. No, 8th, because Moore has lost a lot of ground. Well, here's a replay of what happened here. So Axel Pollen heads into the high-speed chicane with Nagon Scott. He's gonna run it a little wide, kinda got loose, and he banged into the banged into Scott, bounced into him, and loses the back end of the car. Pretty simple incident there, just just a racing deal. Kind of a mistake on Pollen's part, but definitely not how you wanna start your season. Tough break for the six. Fisher and Faulkner still fighting hard here. Oh, he slides it up! Rogers is challenging Alamund for P3. This is where most of the action is. It's kind of strong spreading out the front here because Takoto and Carter both are both fa much faster than the others. Looks like Fisher will be able to defend from Faulkner. No. Again, you really need to be clear before the, before the uh, second part of that chicane. Car upside down! That was Sakamoto. He's got a flipper. Wow! Okay, wow, big crash. Uh, I was going to say I, there's damage on the 83 of Amphi more, but uh, I, I think what just happened is a little more notable. We did, wow, car flipping here in Road Gatno, and it's Sakamoto who does have a bit of a reputation as a crasher. This is their first Junior Series race, and uh, wow, what a way to go. Oh, Barnes! Moves the back end! Reese having problems as well, and he's around! Oh, man! Everything's just happening all at once right now. 
Barnes will be able to keep it move, keep it rolling, but that is like that is going to be very frustrating for the 87 team who came into this race of high expectations. Man, everything just kind of popping off right now. We could see some early pitters here. You really should not pit before lap four, however. Uh, these junior cars have smaller fuel tanks, so they're given smaller fuel tanks to uh, encourage fuel strategy. So, and uh, and from what we had gathered, you really want to you really want to stay out until at least lap four if you want to to make sure you can make the whole distance. And and Bar Barnes and Moore have seemed to have listened to my advice as they they continue to stay out. Well, say, well, let's let's take a look at everything that happened. Here's where Anthony Moore got his damage. Uh, pretty straightforward thing here. Got hooked by Ryan Reed into the wall. Uh, a little right side damage, and that caught. And that's that's gonna hurt him a little bit. And then further down the track, here's the big one. So Sakamoto, she's way in the back. This is a very aggressive battle. You already see Chastain shoving part, part, shoving Paige out of the way. Sakamoto forces it free wide, and free wide is very dicey through here. Surprise! I managed to make it work so well, but Sakamoto does not make it work. Gets in the moor and sweeps across the bumper of Chastain into the wall, and the curb sends that car up and over. Man, not every day you see a flip on a road course like this. Uh, luckily, like Sakamoto is okay, but that will be the end of her race. Meanwhile, Brandon Barnes. Racing through, we'll see what uh, see what happened here. Oh, this is just a, oh, this is gonna be unfortunate. Runs a little wide, hits the curb, and Dale Cole Jr. is there. Tries to save the car, and then flies back across the track. Takes both of them out. Barnes is able to continue, but loses all of his track position. He goes straight to the back. Yeah, yeah, he went all the way to the back. Cole, Cole meanwhile, gets stuck. And that's that for him. Tough, like, tough brace for all these drivers. Especially for Barnes, who, third in points last year, had high expectations coming into this. Well, back to live. Takoto and Carter 1-2. Though, Carter has been catching Takoto. It seems he is the faster of the two. And honestly, I'm not too surprised by that, considering what he did in his debut. Like, like that 42 is flying right now. You know, Faulkner and Rogers fighting pretty hard here. That's for P4. 26 is looking very good. Definitely a far cry from last from last year's opening. Fisher running P6. Alex Gray is 7th. Ryan Reed in 8th. After all that chaos, Anthony Moore is promoted into P9. And Eric Reese currently running in 10th. Got Nog on Scott just outside the top 10 here. And you see where Barnes is. He's not out of it. He doesn't really have any damage. It's just the problem is he's just lost so much track position. Oh, Ro oh, did something happen to Rogers or did he just lose momentum? Because he's lost. Faulkner got by him and he's and Rogers now dropped. Lost several spots. He squeezes Gray off the racetrack. Trying to hold on to whatever he can. Car off! Oh, two cars off. That was Go Forth and Brett Moma who almost hit the wall. And Barnes trying to get past Francois Chastain, who has not had a great race so uh, up to this point. And I don't think he's going to get that move done. No. Like, Bar like, Barnes very frustrated on the radio. That was, like, that was his own mistake, though. This is kind of, just kind of unfortunate that he ended up where he did on the racetrack. Well, we're on lap. Well, we're moving on to lap five. This is about where we would expect some expect to see some hitters, and we do. Nagan Scott and Jensen Nolan, the first like first two to come down pit road. Yeah. Now, as I mentioned, the Junior Series cars have smaller fuel cells in order to encourage this to, in the shorter race. Uh, the tires are a softer compound than usual. Than usual. However, tire like the tires aren't necessarily going to like wear all the way down. However, however, that is also to encourage encourage strategy. Scott and Nolan are off, and it looks like yeah, two tires stopped for the 63. I believe the 54 has taken four tires. That would be correct. 
So we may see some var we'll definitely see some variance in strategy to here. But meanwhile, seems like it's settled out a little bit. Fisher runs it wide. Gray and Rogers resume their battle here for P6. Rogers is trying to hold on to where you can. You can really try to power it through the first part of the chicane, but you absolutely need to be clear because you will hit that curb, as Gray just demonstrated. It's like Whitefield makes the move for P10. This is his first race. One of one of the new rookies for the season. Barnes still trying to pass Chastain, and I think that damage is going to be hurting him there. Where is Barnes on track anyway? Yeah, P20. Not to be not to be a good start to the season at all. All right. Seems Carter is kind of settled in. He was really catching Dakota for a while, but he maybe has settled in. Well, he went through there a little better. Yeah, it's definitely settled out a little bit. We got a battle here to go forth in VLA. VLA hold, like, holds him off. Ooh, AJ Canton runs it wide. So does Brett Moma. Moma having trouble. He's, uh, he's running in a uh, P18. Not a great showing for Moma. Now, this is where the majority of the field's probably coming in. Yep, leaders are in. And it'll, Austin Rogers will play the card to stay out. And as will Ryan Reed. Now, I've got a few cars staying out. Uh, we'll check in on them. But let's watch our top two here. This, this could be a money stop here. What's the call? You can make... Like, here the, the two tires can work. Four tires can work as well. Looks like... It looks like a four... I think it's a four tire call. Yeah, four tire call. Two tires for VLA and Gray. Everyone else in that lead group appears to have taken four. So Gray throws a Hail Mary to try and get in to get up into this battle. Scott had a two-tire stop, but did a two-tire stop and undercut. Really just desperately trying to get up there. Hans Fisher did not have a good stop. And I fit and Brandon Barnes spent a long time on pit road, I believe. Uh, he took right sides and fixed damage. Just trying to save every time he can. Moore also spent a lot of time at pit road trying to fix damage. So not a good, not a good day for Maverick, that's for sure. Well, actually, AJ Cannon appears to have had a solid, pretty good pit stop. Well, actually, no, wait, no, I think Cannon's staying. Yeah, Cannon's one of the guys that stayed out, actually. So let's see here. Austin Rogers stayed out. Ryan Reed did. Dave Whitefield. Uh, Colton Treslin, AJ Canton. Brandon Morris and Brett Moma. They all stayed out. Just a Hail Mary to try and try and stay in this. Ooh, Paige all over the back of the 45. I think he shoved her. And he makes that move work. Oh, actually, I think Hans Fisher is damage. Did he get down pit road? I think he did. Well, we'll see. But for the time being, Dakota will probably be your de facto leader. Alex Gray is ahead of Mitchell Carter now. And all, I, watch out for Alex Gray. He's always really good in the second half of these road course races. So, yeah, definitely will look out for him. Snotting on Scott is all over to 42. Try and make that move work. And the rest of the field is in. This is, this is, this is the moment. Still Cole Jr. is out there, though. Yeah, Cole and Paul are off-cycle. You see anybody try to take two tires? Treslin. Treslin throws the Hail Mary. Actually, I think all, actually, I think all of them may have tried to take two. But... I don't know if it's worked out. Rod oh, I think it did. Rogers is right behind Takoto. I think they all took two tires. That is a Hail Mary if I've ever seen one. 
really trying to get into this battle. Definitely, like, definitely one heck of a call if it works out. We'll see how, we'll see how their race pace looks. However, none of that could, none of that was able to stop Takoto, who does cycle out the lead of the race as we approach three laps to go. A pretty short lap count. However, there's still time, however, there's still time to make some moves. We'll see if Rogers can make anything happen up there. But it is tight now from second on back. Some of these cars may be a little slow. It's like getting going here since they just came out of the pits. Yeah, Faulkner was one of the guys that took four, and it seems like that may have hurt him. Look at all these cars that ends up ahead of him. The drivers, the drivers that stayed out, and the undercutters, they all, like, it seems like they both got a, like, a good hand over the drivers that pit on lap over Dres on lap five. Though I say that Treslin really struggling to get going. Like he could not get the traction down at all and VLA just flew past him. So I'm not sure I'm not sure the adjustments are working working out for that 41. Faulkner forces a move, runs it a little wide. Treslin's gonna fight back here. That battle's gonna carry on in, uh, into the double left hander, and Faulkner will have to try again. Meanwhile, Gray looking like he's gonna try to move on the outside of Rogers. Ooh, that's spicy. Throws it in. Great traction. He's gonna make it work. That look like that was some like that was a textbook move. <laughs> Man, he made it look effortless. But now we got three laps to go, and the other dodge ready to attack. Mitchell Carter is. Mitchell Carter lost a little time on pit road, but he's still fast as ever! Doorbang's his teammate! There's definitely no team orders going on full frontal, that's for sure. Carter just wants to get up there as fast as he can. He knows he's running out of time. However, he can't make anything happen for now. Oh, Faulkner still stuck. Can't get past Treslin. Doesn't seem like Treslin's the fastest right now, but he is doing a great job making his car as wide as humanly possible. Also, the overcut did not work out for Canton, so this is just in general a pretty disastrous day for most of the Maverick team. However, there is that one shining jar as Rogers shoved Gray. He is fighting for everything here. And he's, he's definitely not fast enough to win, but he wants every position he can get because, well, this is. Through the Junior Series, very short season, 12 races, which means every position matters. What it, like, even one point could be crucial at the end of the season. And it looks like Faulkner finally managed to get past Treslin. Page, who started dead last, is in the top 10 right now. Alamund, Whitefield, Fisher, Reese, all right behind Page. Carter, I think, ran it a little wide there. Oh, actually, well, actually, no, Rogers got passed. And he's lost some spots. Well, looks like the flood looks like the floodgates have opened there. Ooh, Carter runs it wide. That may allow, may allow Scott to attack him. What a great first race for Mercedes. They made a strategy call. They made a strategy call. They didn't quite have the they looked alright in qualifying. They were looking solid in the race, but not amazing. So they made it. So they made a, a bit of a they made a call, a bit of a risky call, undercut and go two tires, and that seems to have worked out brilliantly for the British sophomore. Now, like now, Takoto, but I don't know if any if anybody has an answer for Takoto here. Two laps to go. Eric Reese, fastest lap of the race, and that is a that is a stunner, absolute flyer of a lap there for the 99. He's, he's probably going to catch those guys up there, maybe try to make some moves. So here's a quick look at Hans Fischer. He, like I thought, he did get the damage on pit road. Misjudged his pit entry and rammed into Mitchell Carter. Hurt, uh, damaged the right front fender there. They did not try to fix it. 
but it just was not a fast stop. So that like that's that, that's a shame for the 14. And here's the battle between Carter and Rogers. I want to get a replay of this since we missed that. But yeah, this like well we saw well I think we saw that move. But uh, yeah, did not see where Rogers got past. May have been here. Yeah, he shoved Gray off, and he just could not get the momentum. Lost a ton of momentum there. Carter blows past, and that opened the door for Nogon Scott. Well, he may have run wide here too. He did. So, a couple of crucial mistakes for Rogers. Uh, you know, ended up costing him. But he hasn't given up. Still fighting with Mitchell Carter. Actually, Nogon Scott we're up there too. This is a very hard battle here for P3. For approaching this race. Whitefield is shoving his teammate off. Wow! That is uh, very aggressive. Well, I suppose he does have a reputation. He has a reputation on the short track scene. Uh, he, go uh, he goes by the nickname Dive Bomb Dave. And he's certainly living up to, to that reputation right there. Faulkner is still in P8. He hasn't made any new moves work. Uh, I don't think Gray has it in him this time. Takoto has a good car out here. I think she's got this one in the bag. Looks like Haley Takoto might be scoring her first win at the start of her sophomore campaign. Now, she opened her rookie season very well, also. Got like a top five, I believe. It was a good, it was a good performance, though her season didn't really continue in form from there. But this would certainly be a huge well vision booster! Reed shoves the 53! Treslin's off the racetrack as well! While aggressive races like Whitefield lost out to Fisher, is Reese gonna try something here? He is! Tries to go on the outside, that's probably not going to work, it doesn't. Oh, I think a car ran wide in the sand. Didn't really catch who it was, but Faulkner is past Reed, and he's trying to force a move on Scott now. And that looked good. That looked pretty good. Yep, got by both of them. But meanwhile, Haley Takoto maybe one lap away from her first career win in Iskro. White flag in the air here in Gatineau. Gray is second. He definitely does not have anything for, like, for that 68. I think that, I mean, we do have to remember, he he only took two tires, and I think that, I think he's starting to fall off. The heart of the action is here. Faulkner leaves, leaves the inside open for Scott. He wanted, he wanted the inside, looks like Faulkner with the inside of the hairpin. He may try to force something on Rogers here. Two birds with one stone, shoves the 01. Forces him off the racetrack. That was a very aggressive move. He makes it work. Meanwhile, Mitchell Carter has caught. Oh, that's a battle between Alamund and Page. But Carter has caught Gray. Don't know if he'll be able to make a move. But Scott and Faulkner are gonna go, are gonna fly into the hairpin here. We may see a Hail Mary from Reed. Oh, Faulkner throws it wide. Big, that's a big mistake and it's gonna cost him dearly. Carter's gonna need to make a move off of the chicane. Doesn't get, doesn't get the exit he needs. Oh, VLA can't make the move on the 0-1. Some tight battling over there. Looks like Reese could try to make a try to make a move on Nolan there. And it looks like that may be all she wrote. Don't know. I don't think Carter's gonna make a move on Gray. He looked faster, but just does not have enough time. This could, be, this could be the final move at the, at the front of the field. Faulkner tries to make something work on Reed, but I think that mistake just cost him that spot. He's gonna need a really good run to get this. He gets it! How about that? But all of this is happening behind Haley Takoto. Did not have the best rookie season. She real, came into this season looking to prove herself. To show that she belonged, on the, belonged in the Honda program, 
and she's done just that at the final corner. The Japanese driver will uh, is going to score a first Junior Series win. Takoto takes the checkered flag in Road Gatno. First career win for, for Takoto. Congratulations to her. Gray holds on. 4P2. Great debut for, for Nissan. That's for sure. Mitchell Carter coming home in third. And the, the and Mercedes with Nagon Scott in P4. Faulkner, fifth. Like fifth in front of his home crowd. Ryan Reed, a great debut for him in sixth. Austin Rogers, seventh. Uh, Carla Violet in eighth. Emily Alamund in ninth. And Marcel Page, round your top ten. You can see the rest of the results on your on the screen. And that and that was and wow, that was an exciting first race. Yeah, what like what an exciting way to open up the season here for the junior series. And we got a got a first time winner. And it's and it's and it's uh only start it's a uh, only starts from here. That is all that is all the action from the junior series here today. Be sure to stick around next time where we head into Connecticut. The, and we go racing the Thompson Speedway, a famous track in modified racing. Like gets to, like gets a taste of Iskro action here this season, and that's and that it's a it's a beloved track in the short track racing scene, and and we're bound to see some great stuff there. So thank you for watching, and I will be signing off. That is I, I'm, that is all for today. I'll be signing off, and I will see y'all next time.